down. Um, I had to make that myself. Was it you next? Disgust me. Go on. <clears throat> um, I also love Futurama a lot. Uh, was it next? If we make real challenge and make the blood moon every two days, fuck that. No, the fact that we're already taking it up to seven days will be good enough. I think. It'd be nice to have it back on a regular like seven days issue because. At the moment, I almost never see a fucking blood moon. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Holy crap. You distracted me. And I actually got jump scared by that. Holy hell. Do you do max zombies? Um, we don't. Shut up, bless. I know how much you thought that was funny. Um, I have had max zombies available before. Um, and our server basically boycotted it. So basically what happened is I made it that Blood Moon was frequent and the amount of zombies was mental and that it was just generally unenjoyable. Um, yeah, I can force an ad. Hold up. Um, run an ad. I do need to put more information on that so you guys know that it is actually forcing in an ad. Um, yeah, let's get this out of here. Um, oh, and the pew 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 horse. Damn ads. Yeah, no, I will put um, I'll put more information on it to mention because I don't know if if monkey's on an ad or not. So I'll just give him a couple of minutes to come back. What are ads? Lol. I don't know. They're generally, I've heard that they're these short form commercials and I don't know about you guys, but like commercials used to play between shows and you get like a few of them, but then these ads, they're even, they're even shorter. Um, some of them are even just 15 seconds long. And instead of giving you like four ads that are, you know, annoyingly long you just get like fucking eight or so tiny ads which bring you to like this whole point of inferiority <laughs> was it what was the ad about oh he'd still be on it because when i force ads when they request ads um it's three minutes um well at least it's like three minutes in progress or something that people anybody that comes in gets slammed off an ad um Oh shit. Hello. Alright. Well that's good. That's good if it was only short, but basically anybody that walked in within now and the next minute and a half should get an ad um because of that. But yeah, I will put more information on that to actually say that it's um what it is. Well I I asked somebody else as well and they said that they got there was one for, I don't know what it was, but it involved like a hose and the hose not working. I think it was internet or something, which is super ironic because my internet is bullshit and barely works. And you, get, you get steakhouse ads. That sounds good. Like you must be regionally close to some good steakhouses. Um, I probably get the internet ones because legitimately my internet can barely even deal. Like I can barely have... Um, like I said, I capped out my phone internet a couple of days ago. You guys might not know this actually, but a couple of days ago I was watching a video and my house internet went to shit. So I decided to swap over my phone to phone internet, which has about 30 gigs and I never, ever cap it. Last month I got close at 28 gigs, but that's the closest I've ever gotten to it. And, um, I ended up falling asleep and my one gig fail safe failed and it then capped it at the 30 gigs, which was the second fail safe. What normally happens is it pushes one gig, says, do you like stop the internet? Ask me, do I want to keep using it? Yes or no. I either say yes. And it gives me one more gig a day. That's generally how much I use. However, um, I ended up using up all 30 gigs that morning and I have no more phone internet, which means 
that what happened is I ended up not being able to run my Discord on my phone during the stream. And I had an incident where I accidentally set up um, a members only chat or followers only chat or something like that. So nobody was able to talk, which was horrible. And the only people that could talk were the people that were subscribers or members for over a month. And they saw no problem because they were able to talk. Um, so yeah, that was awful. Um, see, I can't have it, um, uh, my phone internet, I can't have it on throttle. I just can't fucking stand that. Um, as for my home internet, um, I believe that this new place that we're going through, have gone through, um, since the start of the year, because we changed over because we couldn't afford the old plan. The old providers were fantastic. It's just that they increased the prices and we couldn't afford it. Um, so we had to change to somebody else that offered allegedly the same for just a tiny bit less. And what ended up happening is that when I'm – hold up, my mouse is all the way over there again. There we go. So what happens is when I stream, I don't have enough internet to open up, say, even just Discord in the background. Like, I just don't have enough. And I think what we've done is, even though they say it's unlimited, I believe we have maxed out our internet and they're throttling us. Um, so when I'm streaming, sometimes what happens is my stream sounds just perfectly fine, but then my VODs lose audio throughout it. Um, not because of any copyright strikes, but because I don't have enough internet power to handle it, um, which is really, really frustrating. Um, so we're going to, I'm hoping that in the next few months I might potentially be able to afford um, buying the better internet plan, if not with the group that I'm with, maybe even just potentially going back to the one that I had. Like, I don't care if I have to go back to them. They were really great. And I had them for, like, 15 years. They were great. Um, it's just, like I said, I can't afford it. And essentially streaming is my own form of my only form of income. So uh, for anybody that doesn't know that. So, yeah, every, every sub literally helps me stay able to stream. Um, I know Grim would definitely want some. Grim. Get yourself another coffee for yourself, 100%. I know you need to. Um, honestly, I could probably do with coffee, but more like an energy drink would work better. Just a sugar would get me going, you know? Um, also, to answer your earlier question, Monkey, is so when I increased everything on my server, I found that nobody in our server group wanted to play anymore um everybody hated how like how much friggin um blood moon was happening and how awful blood moon was i thought it was fantastic i loved the change however it was horrible for everybody else oh, i'm supposed to go up there um so i had to we ended up sitting down having a discussion before we made this server and we decided that blood moon was going to be every 24 days Oh, thank you. <laughs> At the rate I'm going, I might be able to get the good internet soon. <laughs> I appreciate it. What's it? Oh. Wow, okay. Hold up. I don't know if I can just change her straight over or if I have to do it manually. No, hold up. Which one is she on? My tab thing has gone down. Um... I'll just see if I can do it manually and then I'll change it. There we go. So she's in a little black dress. You overrode any preset outfit um, for the rest of the stream. Her hair can still be changed to purple if somebody redeems that. But now she is going to be wearing her black dress for the rest of the stream and nobody can change it. Nobody's allowed to redeem any other outfits during this. So that's what you just did. Um, it is literally a override feature that I put in. So congratulations, she was the first person to activate little black dress. And um, she does have... I'm in danger! <laughs> she does have an option to um, have purple hair with this, which, by the way, 
looks really nice. So it's it's worth saving up for it. Um, I, I do feel like you are in danger. You're in danger of being, like, awesome. More awesome than you already are, so careful with that. You have power and you know what to do with it. Yeah, this server is good. It's just the only problem is that we've done everything except for me finding all the books that I need. That's the only thing left. I think I can go up here. We also had a base in this place too. It was pretty rad. Um, we had we had one member had a base all the way down the bottom. Um, trash pandas are totally acceptable humans. How dare you say anything less? Trash pandas are awesome. Um, yeah, we had one person had a base all the way down the bottom. It was massive. It took up most of the floor. And then we had, um, honestly, who doesn't, though? Who doesn't eat trash? Um, oh, shit, I nearly fell down there. I, on the other hand, we had we had a little room in here. And we had an extra room all the way up here. I'll come back and through path through. So I had like a lounge room up here that had a lovely little campfire. And at night time we could go and we could hide up here where nobody could get to us. I had to repair all the floor and all the buildings and shit and paint it and stuff, but whatever, it was fine. I'll go back down here. And the other one we had was in here. And this was actually not bad. The only problem is that this square footage of this town hall is too big. It's physically too big to secure. Even with multiple land claims, it was just too much. There was no point in time where I could get up enough of a wall around it to do anything good with it. So we had, like in here, we had a few boxes around the wall. We had a couple of beds, a um, couple of cooking campfires, all that sort of stuff. It looked pretty okay. Don't get me wrong, it looked okay. It's just like I don't think it was worth it. Oh, Azula. You want to, Azula just reached out and was trying to hold my hand. It was very sweet. Oh, a poster check. Finally. I'm like, I've been sitting really, really, really close to the screen. <laughs> I need to sit back a little bit. I know I don't like lean back in my chair or anything like that, but I can definitely do a sitting up straighter. You disgust me. <laughs> Go on. I love Zap Brannigan. He is like the worst person. He's like the best worst person, honestly. I do intend to bring in a few more Futurama things. I've hit, I think I've hit the limit of what I can do of sound alerts. And well, with outside of the Twitch program, I still need to learn how to program all the stuff in Twitch because um, I've been tired for the last week. So I haven't done anything, but all these ones are through sound alerts. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, Bender is just so fucking awesome. And the funny thing is, like, if you watch Disenchanted, um, you hear Bender in everything that the um, king does. I tend to relate a deep amount to Fry and the professor. I relate to the professor so hard, especially, like, you know, whenever he's, like, quite... Or um, I don't want to live on this earth anymore and stuff like that. Like just like how how calmly he just drops shit for people to hear. Oh Zoidberg, my man Zoidberg. Like I I really do want like one where you know he's he's like leaning across the table when Fry's like oh I don't I don't have anybody or something like that and he's like. Zoidberg kind of thing like he just like says his name like really long and like waves his claw at him a little bit like you know you still got Zoidberg and I'm just like yeah funny thing is when my brother and I talk because we don't always talk much um, we're not super conversational which is funny considering how much I yap on here but when we talk we talk almost exclusively in Futurama and Simpsons GIFs um there is very rarely any words that cannot potentially be said with a GIF. I literally have like most of a library saved of just Futurama stuff because I relate a lot to the Futurama stuff. Um, and funny thing is, like, I don't, I don't really relate to Leela. 
I genuinely do find like I am so comfortable just with like being the professor. Um, and he's such like an old codger too. Like he's just like he's he's the crankiest old fart at times, but also the cheeriest psycho. It's fantastic. Let's get rid of you. Oh shit. There we go. It's getting dark. I didn't realize it was, fuck, it's nearly night time. Like it's not really a problem. I'm pretty sure I looked up day 40 something is supposed to be the next blood moon. Multiplications of 28 will get you when I'm supposed to have the next blood moon. I am supposed to go up there. No, that's right. I go up this tower. That's right. This is this one? Oh, fuck me. That is terrible. Can I climb up the other thing? Maybe. Uh, yes, I can go up one layer. Hey, what are you doing in here? I know there's a room in here, actually, now that I think about it. I'll get all the stuff that's on the ground, and then I'll go up. Because I don't want to be on the ground at night. Let me out. Jesus, let me out. I got in here. I'm not a fucking fly. There. Holy hell. That's locked. Whoa. Ah, oh, man. Oh, and it's night time. Well, that took out some of them. Yeah, so it should be day 140. If that's the case. So I've still got a little bit to go. And seven more days before I actually have to deal with a blood moon, which is going to be really interesting to see how my computer handles that. Oh, fuck, there's a dog. Nope, I am. Where is this thing? I'm going up. Excuse me, where can I go? Up, 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 up. Not dealing with the dog. Where is the ladder? Is it inside? Oh, every night almost is a blood moon. Here, here's the entry entryway. Ah, oh, good. I'm off the ground. The dog can stay down there. Yeah, cause, cause of the feral sense. Like, if I end up calling in a screamer by accident, I'll end up dealing with that. All right, let's go. Where's oh the next ladder's out here? All right, it's locked. Wait, who's pushing me up? Hey, I was gonna say, why am I getting pushed up the ladder? That's why. That is a mountain lion coming this way. Um, okay. Her third favorite weapon on oh, is your fucking rock rocket launcher and your shotgun. Although I don't know why you bother using the hunting knife, honestly. Like, you know, knifey spoony. Oh man. I hope somebody gets that fucking joke, eh? I'm just going to auger this or, um, calm down. Oh, they're making it up here. Nice. I've, I've got a problem. It's night time and they're starting to come up here. Is it? Like, I know that the different weapons do different things. Come on. I do like this. The stun baton. Go, 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 go. All right, let's get up here. Um, that was not the way to go. All right, in here, up here. Oh god, I turned the light off. Okay, this opens. Let's shut that. Um. I was going to say, I'm guessing now that you've got all your groceries, you've got um, you've got cooking and stuff you probably have to do. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't see that high up. Go away. Yeah, okay, let's try this. Lucky. Very lucky. So I don't want them to follow me over here. See, I don't mind using like the sun baton and like sledgehammers and stuff like that. Look, if they can follow me from there, good on them. Um, they deserve to come over here then. 
I used the sledgehammer so hard in my very, very first game. That and I used the handgun. The sledgehammer and the handgun were my jam for so long. And it was very hard to get me to use anything else. Like even against doors and stuff until I actually learned the sledgehammer doesn't give me anything. Um, no need to cook when you can just nom some snacks. Ooh, snacks. I, um, I have a snacks. I saw my partner brought home a packet of lollies tonight, so I need to find out where those went. I'll need to, like, do a little bit of a scavenger throughout the cupboard to find out where they are. Where's this go? Oh, this doesn't look too bad down there. I don't think it's worth one bag, though. I saw there's one backpack down there. And you got somebody else to do it for you. You cook sometimes, Grim. Also, like, Nick and I don't necessarily take turns cooking, but because I can't eat a lot of the same stuff as him, um, yeah, I end up having, that's a allowable word, that's fine. Um, I, welcome in, by the way. He, my partner and I don't eat the same food because I literally cannot. Um... So I end up just cooking stuff for myself or he cooks stuff for himself. Every so often one of us will make something that the other can also eat that we like enough that be like, can you put some of that aside for me? Um, but usually speaking, like we don't necessarily eat dinner at the same time as each other and we don't eat the same meals as each other. Um, it never really bothered me. Um, I don't know. Especially since, like, with my Crohn's and stuff, I can't eat a lot of the same stuff. So it's always nice when he says, like, I've made something that smells or looks particularly good enough that he wants to try it. <laughs> a fucking advanced bellows. Yeah, when it comes to lollies, like, I know it's more of an American term to say lollies and stuff, but I don't know. I've always said lollies. Lollies, not candy. Um, it depends what it is, though. Like, if, if it's a... I don't know, like a hard shell thing. It's a candy. Um, lollies and stuff are more like, I think, I don't know exactly what he got. I briefly saw the packet and it looks like it could be some kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, but like some kind of like gumdroppy looking things. They, they look like they're either sour or potentially coated in some kind of like sugary dust of something. So I need to suss out what that is. Um, and yeah, we, we tend to have like, we don't tend to share the same snacks. We do sometimes, like if we're sitting down together watching something, we'll, um, maybe share like a packet of chips or something like that. If it's like going to be like a really long movie and we're eating the same thing, makes sense. But like for the most part, we have like our own preferences of like what we like. So we'll normally just like get our own thing. I'm going to see if I can get over there. Pretty sure I can. I don't know where I'm supposed to be pathing over there from. Oh god. Oh, lucky. Yeah, these boxes aren't open, so I just want to check them out. Let's get in here. Okay, let's see this. Um... I don't think there's anything else up there. That room's supposed to have stuff, but I, I already looked down and that area had only the bag there. How is she hungry again? So anybody that's new in at the moment and doesn't know. So I've already maxed out my character. I've already basically gotten and done every single perk that is available. The only thing I'm looking for is one book. This Magnum Enforcer book number six the problem that i've got is that um fun pimps have been updating little bits and pieces of the game like for instance graphics and a few features like for instance an auger uh, will destroy a car instead of giving you goods whereas you actually have to use an impact driver to take it apart or even a ratchet would work better but the thing is i have got perks that are supposed to allow me to have like eat less food and drink less food and stuff like that and stuff's supposed to work longer but it's not staying active like i'm actually having to find her food and drink because it's just not working the way i'm used to it working 
which is really, really weird. Like I'm not worried about her getting injured or anything like that, but her being hungry can really impact some stuff. Give her some coffee. Still get rid of those. I'll keep the water and I'll keep some of these soups and shit. I think she's mostly okay. I'll see if I can find her more stuff. Is it your fall damage? Doesn't seem to work either. You take damage at random distances. See, I don't take full damage coming off stuff like this, which does not make a lot of sense because I should still take some level of damage and or I should have like a sprained ankle or something like that. Like parkour is supposed to potentially stop you from getting like injuries like that, but it shouldn't be that OP to fall down because like I'm not getting hurt. I'm a little bit hurt at the moment. You guys are a little bit slow to load in, aren't you? That's also another thing too. Like I use the rat servers. Um, so I don't run this just straight off my computer. So that's why it also like crunches a little bit harder when I play the game. But it does allow basically my server members to join me or play whenever they feel like it. Because I have a couple that play on completely different time frames to me. So I don't need to leave my computer on or the game open as long as I've got rat server running. My only problem is when they update this, like update to Alpha 21, I don't know how quickly they're going to update the rat servers or if it's going to be like a little bit behind. What does parkour say in the description for maxed out parkour? Okay. It says it should be under agility, right? Yeah. So says you are now a parkour master and can navigate difficult situations easily. Reduce stamina cost of jumping by 40%. Increase safe fall distance by 5 meters. Can jump 2 meters higher and never get a sprained or broken leg when falling. So that makes sense. Okay, I'm not getting any sprains or broken legs and stuff. But I should still be getting a fair whack of damage if I fall off something high enough. Like a, you know, Garashi Tower or something like that. I should really get some fucking damage off that. But I'm barely getting anything. You guys. I was going to say, like, he might be able to make it over to me, but I was honest to God looking at this mountain lion that I'm not sure what it was just doing. There we go. At least I hit it with the second shot. I have noticed that if I shoot something with this and it's far enough away... If you watch closely, you can see the red dot as to where it actually shoots from. Like that one's beneath the crosshair. That one's beneath it. That one's a little bit higher, but still beneath it. Like it's not always accurate. But depending on how fast I zoom in and do it. Um, what the fuck was that? The hell just went past me. Because I'm not sure what just went past me. There's more boxes. There's also a dog somewhere, and I'm not about that. It probably was. Well, shit. Okay, so I can get around that way, huh? Thanks for sharing that, zombies. It did. It basically, I need to add in like a yeet noise, because that's what it did. It yeeted out of here. Actually, the funny thing is, for a long time, we didn't actually know that they were called spiders. So when we first looked up the information on the game, we are like, what the hell are spiders? Oh god, we don't want to run into those. And then we found out we'd been calling the screamers them. Oh, stretch. Oh, fantastic. Hold on. Let me get out of this. Um, spiders are coded to jump at a player as soon as they got sight of, line of sight. That's true. The spiders can jump quite far too, actually, because um, I had one base where I had to have the walls seven tall because they can jump about five, and if they get a landing right, they can jump, they can keep climbing. Oh, that feels better. I just needed to, like, stretch all my arms and neck and back and stuff. I didn't realise I could see the wastelands from here. Really weird. If they got the speed, they can jump higher. On Xbox, they could climb walls. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no. Um, if you guys get a moment, it's definitely worth checking out on my Instagram. I've got a um, 
water tower basically I don't know how 